What's up guys, welcome back. I just pulled up to a six spot right at sunset. It is Weston Smith and we are going to film a vlog entirely on the GoPro with zero edits. And I wanna show you guys how easy vlogging can be. So let's go ahead and get out to the water. You guys are actually already on the GoPro, already in the chest mount. And I just wanted to make a video where I showcase uh, the fact that you guys can just get out and do this without really putting in all that much crazy effort. I just tilted the GoPro back up from on the chest mount. I'm gonna strap you guys in here. Uh, the chest mount's kind of like messed up right now, so let me fix this real quick. This is run and gun. I just decided I was going to do this last minute because I wanted to get out and fish. This way you guys aren't super dizzy. Let me fix you up real quick. But there's almost no time. I just got a wheel replaced on the Tundra because it was bent. We're about to go on the Florida trip. And, uh, and yeah, I wanted to do some fishing. So I've got a Texas rig tied on. We are at a spot I have fished at before, caught some, caught some decent fish here, and I may or may not retie. I've got some stuff in here that I could throw, but I think we're just going to go Sanko to see if I can catch anything in like the next 15 minutes before there's not enough light for y'all to even see. So we're leaving the big camera and the truck on this excursion, and we are ready to rock and roll, man. By the way, I got the Mondo kit. I was going to do the video on this today. I just didn't end up having enough time, so that leaves me with more of an informational video for you guys. Now, there's gonna be no edits in this, no cuts, unless I do something like extremely dumb. And uh, <laughs> and that will be that. I've got a five inch longer log rigged up and I have not been here in quite some time. We've caught some fish out of these two bodies of water, but if I don't catch anything real quick, I'm moving over to the other side. Popular little spot. And uh, yeah, I feel like I might get snagged right here. I'm going to make a couple casts at this waterfall right along the cover. There's some rocks over here and then I might hit these uh, little bridges or I guess that's one bridge. I might hit under the bridge, see what's up and I'm going to make it fast paced because normally I could spend like 15 minutes tearing this apart, right? But that wouldn't be very entertaining of a video <laughs> where I don't just cut to like the catch and everything. So, oh my gosh, I literally thought I had a bite, but I got snagged. This is an interesting take. Like you're gonna get to see every single thing that I do and realize that fishing vlogs are normally not all just the catching that you see in like the five minute video or the 20 minute video where it's like, okay, I'm over here and I'm catching fish. I'm over there and I'm catching fish. There's actually a lot of time spent not catching fish. <laughs> so we're gonna try and work through here very quickly. I was assuming the main body of water would be like not as stained because I, I, I don't remember if this was like all one or if these two smaller ones were disconnected, uh, the bodies of water, but they're all connected. So I imagine even out there in the main lake, it's gonna be pretty stained. So I'm not necessarily throwing the most ideal bait right now. I'm throwing a natural color, which isn't gonna stand out like something that's black and blue, for instance. I am throwing something that's not causing a lot of vibration. The fish are really gonna be keying in. Just because this water, they can't, just because you think they can't see, they still got to eat, right? So I'm just kind of throwing next to cover. I was throwing next to the structure over there. I see some grass right here. What I'm going to do is align myself to where I get this cast kind of right along the edge of all this grass. I do see minnows right here. So there's definitely some bait. These bass could be hanging out right here on the S right here on the edge of the grass. Good place to get a cast in. anything that's different, man, any little bit of structure you see in these lakes, you absolutely got to hit. All right, now check me out on this. Normally this is where I'd make a cut to me just like being at the next spot, but y'all are coming along tonight. We're gonna walk over to the other side. I've actually got an older video here where I caught some fish off the uh, second story balcony. This place is kind of funny. How's it going? <laughs> you guys will have to check that out. I think I like caught a couple catches off of the uh, balcony over here and like trying to lift the fish up on the light line was not happening. So. It was an interesting video. Let me look down here. Okay, okay, okay. Not good visibility. I might tie on a spinnerbait. We have some decent light. I think I can get away with catching a fish on a spinnerbait, which has a lot more vibration and uh, a brighter color than this worm. I'm gonna get one cast along the wall here, and then I'm gonna go down there, try and hit those pillars. And um, yeah, we're gonna put something together here. Whether I catch a fish tonight or not, this is just such a different style video that I haven't seen much of. I think you guys can enjoy one of the 
most challenging parts of this one for me is probably just talking for however many minutes straight. That way I'm not leaving you guys with the dull moment here. I'm just kind of working it as close to the wall as possible. So you see me, I'm kind of twitching that rod towards the rock here. Seeing if these bass are hugging up against it. If I get one, it's going to be interesting. Certainly. Yeah, that worm stands out pretty good. Alright, I think we might switch up to the spinner bait though. <sighs> How's it going? <clears throat> yeah, so I'm, I'm rocking a Wu Tungsten quarter ounce weight. This is like a natural color though, it's not black. Like you've probably seen a lot of weights. Tungsten oftentimes is kind of like smaller profile for the same weight rating as like the lead weights or whatever else, whatever material is typical that you would buy. And then uh, a five inch lunker log, so the smaller size, usually great for getting bites in small pressured ponds like this. And then I think a like a three aught Guggen Squad hammer hook, so a small hammer hook. There will see, there's something, here's more minnows. I'm telling you, these bass are around here. I see some fishing line hanging down from this column. People are definitely casting here. It's probably a, a pretty good spot to get a bite. There's not a whole lot of stuff to cast at out here. Like I don't see any trees sticking up. Don't see too much brush. There is some reeds along the edge over there. You know what? We might run over there. I'm going to tie on. I think I'm going to make a switch, man. This is just... I know you guys are probably already thinking to yourself, why haven't you already? But I know if I get this worm in the right spot, I'm, I'm kind of targeting where these fish should be, that it's going to get hit. Like I said, they're kind of keying in on that motion and movement in the water. And every time you pop that worm, if there's a fish around, they're going to key in on that. And they will come in. And I've caught plenty of fish in stained water with bottom baits like this. But I don't, I don't know if it's causing enough vibration. Let's go ahead and retie. So I want to set you guys up with a good angle. Since we're going no cuts on today's video, let's put you all, where can I set this GoPro? I want to go fish the bank over here anyways. Let's just make a quick jump. Listen to all that tackle. All that glorious tackle in the backpack. Here we go. I found a spot for you guys. Check this out. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to... We're gonna find a spinner bait and we're gonna put it on. Oh, it's got a chatter bait too. Dang, dang, do I wanna do chatter bait or do I wanna do spinner bait? Oh, my spinner bait's a natural color. I kinda of wanted a white one. Okay, all right, I think that settles it. I think we're gonna go with this chatter bait right here. So I got this popper. See, all this stuff I would normally be cutting out, but not tonight. All right, there we go. We've got a bunch of baits in here. Do, do, do. Okay, so what I was going to do was this, though. Take this off. Position, y'all. I'm sure you can see the chest mount. I don't care. Okay, so. We have got our worm. Get rid of this quick. This is like a speed fishing challenge. Putting everything in the pocket. Where'd my line go? Okay, how quick can I tie a Palomar? Dogs barking. This is white and chartreuse. Bright colors to stand out in this less than desirable visibility. Because there is not... Clarity is not a thing today at this spot. I don't remember it being this bad, but... But it is. Palomar knot. Hopefully I don't mess this up and retie it three times. This is my favorite knot, by the way. I have a video explaining how to tie this. It's kind of loop, swoop, and pull. It gets pretty simple after a while, but it looks like I done messed it up this time. <clears throat> we shall see. Even if it's wrong, I can care less. I'm just gonna roll with it. Do, 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 do. This is not working at all. Good thing I'm not fishing a tournament right now. I'm not a pro. How's, how's that looking? Yeah, my tag end done fell off the face of the earth. It's not going through the loop. There we go. All right, how to tie a Palomar knot in under 10 minutes with Weston Smith. <laughs> That's very slow, by the way. All right, cut the tag end. Carl's bait and tackle. Y'all know the deal. Put that line in the bag. I got to 
put y'all on before I put the backpack on. See, this is all that extra vlogger stuff, man. That stuff you don't gotta concern yourself about when you're at home. Just going out to catch some fish. Gotta put the GoPro on, then the backpack, otherwise you've done it wrong. Uh, let's see here. Okay. How long is this video? Oh my gosh, we're already 10 minutes in. We haven't even sniffed a fish yet. Holy smokes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I, when I said that I like touched the GoPro screen to see how many minutes it's been recording for. So we're at 10 and a half minutes. So I got a Kraken crawl that's all beat up and probably ain't even gonna last that long. That kicks really well on the back of this chatterbait. So I'm gonna rip this all along the bank. Sun says here, y'all, these bass are coming up shallow to feed most likely. We're gonna see if we can't secure a little some, some, oh. I saw something flee the scene when I cast it in there. I don't think it was a bass though. It just looked like some small, small fish I might've spooked. Let's cast over here by this column, left side and right side. Just wanna make sure I got it all covered. I know it's gonna sound weird, but like with this left-handed reel, I like circling the uh, ponds counter clockwise does that make sense uh because i'm going to be working this thing clockwise and what that means is i'm going to be like if I, i'm, I'm going to be casting this direction right so here's how i'm going to be reeling if i need to set the hook it's going to be like kind of backhand and awkward whereas if i was circling this pond going counterclockwise i can cast along the bank and i'm reeling in a more comfortable position and i can really smash that hook set right so that's the way the hook, hook set should look like and here's what i'm gonna have to do if i get one on this side no big deal but one of those OCD things. All right, so we're gonna cover a little bit more of this bank. And if we don't get a fish, at least I have accomplished my goal of showcasing a completely unedited, unedited vlog for you guys. Something you may or may not have seen before. We gotta get a thumbnail. We still gotta get a thumbnail. So I'll take you guys through that process. We'll go ahead and get a, uh, a thumbnail. And I might edit that a little bit. I've been doing my thumbnails on Lightroom app, like inside the iPhone. And then also, um, I use Pixelmator now. My thumbnails, I've been trying to get them looking a little bit better, a little bit better, my outlines and stuff like that. So I've been using Pixelmator, which is a cheaper Photoshop alternative, in case y'all were wondering, to have those layers and kind of just select around edges and stuff. We're way off topic right now. So anyways. <laughs> we'll get it we'll get a little thumbnail image i'll just do a screenshot from the video on the gopro here just set it up somewhere and we'll call it a day oh my gosh i don't know if i'm going through turtles or fish this is where it could get good there's a lot more taller grass over here probably gets hit a lot less by the folks that just come down here and fish this place a lot looks like some reeds Look, if you want to start your own channel, that's kind of what I'm getting at with this video. Just grab a GoPro and start filming. You don't need like, you don't need the big camera. You don't need all the stuff you might think you need. You could record clips on your phone, you know, like if you catch a fish. Um, but like, just how you saw me take off the chest mount and retie that bait. That's all you got to do. Whenever you catch a fish or something, just take the chest mount off real quick, hold the GoPro out and talk about the fish catch. I mean. Don't overcomplicate it is all I'm saying. Oh my gosh, this would be like the spot. This looks so perfect. A lot of grass. I'm feeling that blade on the chatterbait. Just so much vibration with this thing. That's why you definitely would have assumed I would have gotten a catch. Let me see if there's something out deeper real fast. I'm gonna let this thing kind of fall to the bottom. I don't know how deep it is. Let it fall to the bottom. I'm gonna give it a quick little rod pop just to get that blade going and kind of pop it out of some grass if it's on the bottom. That way I get that flutter right off the bat. See if I can maybe bring one in from far away. But I can tell we're running out of light here. So we need to focus on getting this thumbnail. And honestly wrapping things up. This is gonna be one of my longer videos, completely unedited, which is so funny because my last few videos have been so short. I just haven't had the, the content. I've gone out, I fished, I haven't caught much. And that's how it goes sometimes. You can't always have a, a banger video 20 minutes long when uh, when the bite's not there and it's been so rough for me specifically not for everybody but for me these last few days have been a little tricky weather hasn't been it's been up and down this pond is not normally this stained 
and it's because we've had rain and uh, yeah it's just messing with the whole mojo and these fish are getting cold man we've had some cold nights so for sure you would assume they'd be getting into kind of a feeding frenzy because it's gonna when they think winter's approaching they're gonna be cold and feeding up for it a couple more casts and i don't know another night with a potential skunk here i might get a couple casts in that uh, smaller body of water before we call it quits in fact let's run back over there by the truck that's what i want to do because i started with the worm that probably wasn't the best bait so let's see what we got i wonder if this gopro is still recording because i don't have the side door on it <laughs> so the battery could just like fall out at any point <laughs> Holy smokes, I probably ran a half mile in this video. Oh, this looks kind of cool. Could this be a thumbnail? Let me look at the GoPro screen real fast. Uh, that's not that cool. Okay, that's that's not as cool as I thought. Um, okay, fine. Let's go over here. Okay, we're... 16 and a half minutes in. We're gonna try and cut this off at like 20 minutes. Bear with me. Can we catch a fish? Oh my gosh. We're back where we started. Okay. I got a strong feeling we're about to get snagged. Whew. Okay. We've made it. Does this look good though for a thumbnail or should I? Oh, that waterfall. That waterfall looks better. Let's go up here. This is gonna be good though, I promise. Okay, okay. Thumbnail, does this look good? Oh yeah, that looks much better. That looks much better, I like this. Okay, here we go. I don't know what I'm gonna title this video. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Now we want to get down a little bit lower. Uh, the GoPro's off the chest mount. I'm just trying to position it where this waterfall looks real cool. That looks good. Y'all can still see the chest mount though. And then, look at that. Oh, that's beast. Okay, here we go. Grab the gear. Uh, probably bad idea. Just we'll check how this looks. So this is kind of like how I would get a thumbnail. I might like position the camera somewhere recording video and then just do something goofy like this. I might hit y'all with one of these. Look at the fountain. And then I can just pull a screenshot from this video. This might look better. Let's see what we got. We got the chatterbait. Maybe you can see the waterfall behind me. Maybe you can't. Not positive. That'll probably do. I think we got what we need. A little chatterbait sesh at the end of the night. Cool. We should be able to get a little thumbnail from that. Let's fish this thing now. Close this thing out. What do we got left? 1849. We got like a minute left. Let's get a fish. Angle y'all up. Put y'all back on. Wow. I was cold when I got here, but not anymore. I'll tell you that much. If y'all would, if you've made it this far, please drop a like and a comment on the video. Let me know what you thought about this spur of the moment idea. And hopefully I get a couple of y'all inspired to just go film a little vid and start making your first videos on, on the YouTube. It can be a lot easier than you think. And, and I'm not saying don't edit them. <laughs> Definitely not saying don't edit them. I'm just saying, uh, you don't have to overcomplicate it and you can get away with minimal editing and now that you see kind of what the process is like you can understand okay well maybe i would have just cut out all my running to different locations you know just just keep it simple a few more casts here if i i can't believe we haven't caught a fish to be honest i mean like the fish in here i don't know how much they've got to eat 
And so it's like if they get an opportunity to munch on something as juicy as a chatterbait, you'd think they'd be all over it. There we go. Try and get close to that little cover over there. I tried to hit the key points that looked good to me, which is right here where this water is, the waterfall. That current can get the bass going. Also, a lot of rock over here. I think I made a cast over there at that wall. Tried to hit that bush over there. Go, oh gosh, there's something. Probably a turtle, probably a turtle. Oh, perfect, just past them. Come on, come on. Wow, wow. All right, well, I guess I'm not gonna take any more of y'all's time, but just like that, another video in the books, y'all. I'm trying my best to come up with some good content ideas for you guys, and I know this was just off the wall, something entirely different. This is exactly what you could do while still recording if you got a catch, talk about the spot you're fishing, get some key points on the baits you're using, the gear you love, and that is really all it comes down to when making these videos right here. I might just stick around for a couple more casts off camera, see if I can get anything out of here. Don't count on it, but check out Instagram. If I do catch one, I'll put it on the stories. I'll make a post about it. And you guys, until the next one, I hope you enjoy this. We'll see you. Peace.